primary central nervous system lymphoma is a disease of older adults. Over 50% of patients at diagnosis are 60 years or older, and the incidence is actually the highest in patients over the age of 75. Outcome for patients treated for primary central nervous system lymphoma in the so-called elderly has significantly improved over the last four decades. This is in part due to more aggressive therapies that have been applied and that have been tolerated reasonably well. Also, what really defines elderly? And this term has certainly evolved over time. Patients live longer um, and um, comorbidities can be managed better. And also, we learned that giving therapy with high-dose methotrexate can be very well tolerated even in older or very old patients. And there have been numerous studies to illustrate this. The challenges remain for patients who have a borderline renal function and who are possibly not candidates to receive high-dose methotrexate-based therapy. And there are a number of um, new drugs or drug combinations that might be much better tolerated in these patients. These include, for example, timozolomide with or without uh, rituximab. Um, there are um, investigations ongoing on possible immunotherapies. There are data on ibrutinib and other drugs, uh, just to mention a few that might make an impact on these patients. One of the key challenges to identify patients who might be candidates for aggressive therapy with high-dose methotrexate plus possibly other chemotherapy or plus, and or plus rituximab. And um, the renal function is often really the, the limiting aspect. We consider a creatinine clearance of about 50 or greater as a sort of cutoff to determine whether it's safe to consider uh, treatment with uh, high-dose methotrexate. Um, the high-dose methotrexate dose level is typically um, between 3, 3.5 grams, even if you dose reduce based on other protocols that use higher, higher doses and then adjust to the renal function. Um, there are little data on what is the best drug to add to high-dose methotrexate, and um, the research is evolving. A major challenge in this disease is that it's rare. And another challenge, which is a good one, is that patients tend to do considerably well. So different institutions have different protocols that all work relatively well. However, they have been never formally compared. So there are different opinions out there, but I would say the glass is more half full than half empty for patients that are considered elderly and who are diagnosed with primary central nervous system lymphoma.